So three, two, one. All right, guys. Well, here we are. This is our first podcast endeavor. We're here in. Is this the lift lounge, bro? Is this? I mean, we're just. Yeah, we're. We're, in the lift lounge <laughs> we're chilling right now, in man. the lift lounge, bro. Is it that is what's happening lounge. right here? Mm-hmm. Well, anyways, what we need to do first, definitely, is to do introductions. My name is Phil. I'm going to be hosting this thing. And to my left, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name's Xander. Ethan. And, uh, Right I, guess I, I guess I ruined that one. <laughs> <laughs> to the but, far left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're good. Uh, my name's Ethan. That's right. And if you guys don't recognize both Ethan and Xander, you guys are looking at the stars of Ethan Heath Lift. <laughs> now, I've been lucky enough to go ahead and be featured on a couple of these videos, but these two dudes right here, this is where it all started. So what we got going on, guys, like what we said is our podcast. And so we've been discussing working out. Yes, sir. You guys have been a big influence on me to get back into the game get back into the gym. Now, I actually started out knowing this guy from music and doing production with Ethan, and Xander always came by as hype man, the dude for the words, the guy <laughs> that can just kind of lift up the mood a little bit. And then they started getting into lifting, started introducing me to what they've been doing, and guys, I got to say, uh, it inspired me. And so I Thank had to get in mm-hmm. it. And so what we ended up doing was getting together on one of your episodes, and you recommended I come down to get going with the lifts. One thing led to another, and now we're here. We're in Marietta, California. We're at Nude Gym. Uh, yep. Ethan, why don't you go ahead and break down a little bit about Nude Gym, how you came here, and, and what this is. Well, first of all, Nude Gym got some uh, got a site for some supplements. D Subs, twenty percent off. Click the link in the description. Don't forget, save you some money. And uh, but uh, as far as Nude, right? Um, it's it's one of a kind. Let me just let me tell you, like. I've never been to a gym or an establishment like this one, for sure, as far as what they include, what they offer to their guests. Um, si- simple things as far as just the aesthetic, right? Like, it just looks different than every other gym. Uh, as far as that, man, it's, it's, it's honestly, you know, state-of-the-art equipment. You know, it's, it, sets, it sets the bar, for sure. It's pr- pretty high. Definitely, man. And that was for something sure. I kind of noticed, too. Uh, first walking in was just how nice this place looked and I could definitely see why Ethan wants to go ahead and continue to do his his video uh, his vlogs and his videos here so what we definitely want to talk about is kind of we got some categories that we want to go over here so what is this all going to be what are we going to be doing here number one we want to talk about health and wellness health yes, and sir. fitness is that right yes, it's sir. Going to be one of the things that we're going to be talking about and so that's everything from lifting which is what you guys have been showing me Um, That's going to be everything from exercising, right, different types of diets, bulking, protein, all that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so another thing that we're definitely going to want to be talking about is the hot topics of today. Yeah. One of them, we we can just go ahead and say, one of them right now, the natty or not. Yeah. Absolutely. Bro, it's everywhere. Yeah, and even, especially now, Photoshop or not. We got got a lot of influencers Photoshopping their pictures. The filters, bro. Yeah. Filters. Everything, man. Really hot topics. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, The natty or not, cameras at the public gym, gym attire, faux pas at the gym, all that kind of stuff, kind of hot topics. Another thing that we were really big about discussing and making sure that we kind of get a lot of people known, a lot of lifters known, is the lifting bros and brajettes. Yes. Yes. You know? So uh, give us a couple, like right off the top, like give us a lifting bro that you can already think. C-bum. Sam Sulek. Yeah. You know? I said one. He gives two. That's okay. Yeah, Shizzy. We got Shizzy, man. Big one right now. That's right. Uh, Brajette. How about Lean Beef Patty? Yes. There's one. Yeah. You know, you had uh, a special guest on your channel, Ethan. Yeah, yeah. So one of my recent vlogs is actually better than any video we, me and Xander have ever done. The number um, one. Yeah, this girl named Rebecca, she's, like, doing her little prep for her uh, bodybuilding competition. Mm-hmm. Um, she kind of ran us through a, a back-and-by workout. It was pretty solid, very different from our, our routine, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, as far as just, like, the warming up the muscles that she likes to work out, she spends a decent amount of time doing, I mean, yeah. we, we did three or four li- different workouts and routines just to warm up the scabs and, the, and, and everything. Yeah, me and, yeah, yeah, me and Ethan detailed. usually – just like hop right into a couple couple shoulder stretches and that's it but it was a uh, i liked it you know definitely yeah and that's what's great about introducing new faces not just some of the things that you may have been seeing online but some new faces 
uh, around town. And we even want to bring in some people that we know, just like how you brought in me, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. uh, some people that are just dedicated to lifting and those that you may not see regularly, but that are definitely important to us that we see on the regular. We're definitely going to be talking about those people as well, which kind of ties in to our special guests. We definitely plan on having some special guests. Now, if I may disclose a little bit, one of the nice things about this particular facility is they're able to showcase equipment that other gyms just don't have. Just point blank period, they just don't have them. Yeah. And so with that, once new people come into the gym and they're introduced to this equipment and this product, connections are made. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Connections are made. Now, yeah. we don't want to be dropping names. <laughs> we don't want to drop names. Mm-hmm. We do have some very popular owners here, though, that know some people. And so we're really excited not only to be having special guests with the owners, having them come down, talk about their gym, talk about the products and product placement, but also having some people that they know, some of the wheels that have been greased in the gym world, to come on down to talk yep. to us, right? I mean, how dope would that be to get, like, Big Boy uh, from Strength Cartel or, or, yeah, yeah. or if you wrestle Bradley Martin? Dude, For real. That would be, that'd be crazy. About 260, though. Yeah, not, not too 60. I'm 160. But out. you are si- – well, you're not sick. <laughs> but we're not going to go over that. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk, talk about the hype. Um, another thing that's going to be really important to us, guys, is our product placement. Yes. Now, we're not just talking about plugs, which obviously we had our plug in the beginning. We do talk about our supplements and things like that, and, and that's going to be one of the other topics – uh, that the owners are going to be doing. We're bringing in supplements to not only this facility, but to other facilities out there in the local area. Again, we're in Southern California, Marietta area, if you know it. Shout out to Marietta. So we're going to be talking about different types of products, different types of health snacks, uh, different type of energy drinks, uh, different type of uh, pump supplements, if you will. You mm-hmm. know? And so that's going to be one of the things. Now, we already kind of are used to doing a little bit of a product placement when we're talking about our, our ghost energy drinks. Yeah. Yes. When we're sipping and when we're dripping. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> always dripping. Always, yeah. dude. We like, to, we like to rank these. You know, we've tried pretty much every single one. We always rank them on the Matter of the fact, channel. have we had all of these here before? We have. Yes. We have. Give yes. it a, a rank again. What was that one? What did you rank that one? Do you remember? This was in like the, the low to mid nines for sure. Really? Yes, mm-hmm. dude. The, the blue raspberry. I don't know what they do ghost you're, you're doing it right yeah they, they yeah. are doing it right for sure Damn, I um, especially that. being zero sugar you know what i mean like what are you doing ghost for real. I, I don't know xander what about it's, this one this one we got red sour patch this one is this is top three for sure my all-time favorite is swedish fish though i don't know like that one just hits different for me blue raz close second could be tied you know just yep. depending on the mood yep even he sour also, apple he also yeah. loves swedish women <laughs> and, and, and so this one right here I'm working with is Sour Watermelon. This is the first time I've actually tried this one. What do you think? It, it's pretty damn good, bro. Yeah? Like mm-hmm. Compared to the mango one, because that's usually my go-to. If y'all don't know, that's my go-to. Uh, this one right here, I, 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 don't, I may have a new one. On a scale Ooh. of 1 to 10, what, what, do you, what are you ranking it, 1 to 10? I'm going to 8, 7, bro. 8, eight 7? Yeah, seven. this is solid, man. This pretty is a good solid score. one. So I'm definitely going you know, to give him a little sip real quick. <laughs> Mouth was getting a little bit dry, but yeah, definitely Warhead Sour Watermelon 8.7, tip top. Now, on top of the shameless plugs that we just had here, on top of our drinks and the other supplements, we want to express our gratitude to the owners for letting us try all this equipment, right? But how different this equipment actually was. I remember the first time you told me about a pendulum dip. and I pendulum was, squat? The pendulum yeah. squat. Yeah. And I was like, what'd you call me? <laughs> and, I, and you're like, no, 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 homie, it's just chill. It's just a piece of equipment. That thing, we didn't even put any weights on it, bro. And I was feeling it the next day. I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, that thing will humble you guys, dude. <laughs> me, sure. me, and, me and Xander hit, what, four four plates on the hack squats. Maybe yeah. pushing four plates and a 10, right? And then you go over to pendulum squats, and it's hard to even do like a plate 25, even yeah. two plates. Especially back to back, dude. Back you want to talk back. about that? We've done it a couple times. Yeah, no, for sure. I remember the very first time I ever hopped on that. I think Ethan wasn't there, but I was like, I usually do like two plates on both sides, you know? Yeah. I put it on and I instantly <laughs> dropped. I was like, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? So I was like, you know, just like looking around, seeing if anybody noticed, like stripped the weight off real quick. And then I was, <laughs> I was stuck with a plate, but. You know, next time we tried it with Ethan, like I was like, oh, maybe it's just a fluke. So we tried it again, and yeah, no, we, we even had, we even had a, had a special guest, right? Yeah, and he squats way more than us, and he's like, oh, I'm about to do four plates on this. And me and Xander kind of looked at each other, like, you sure about that? Yeah, he puts two plates on. 
<laughs> couldn't even get it up. Did you like, talk to your groin before you did that, bro? <laughs> 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 did you talk to your groin first? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now, who was yeah. that special guest? Uh, our boy Devin. Devin. Yeah. And what episode was that one on? Do you remember the which episode, like, numerically? Uh, not numerically, no. It was one of the earlier ones, wasn't it? It was we like ha- a So we had ago. him on um, one time previous, kind of okay. when we were kind of growing our channel. And then we hit a spike. We hit a spike of subs. Um, we're still not too high in the sub count, but... You know, as time That's progresses, yeah. that is totally, totally normal. Guys, follow Ethan Heath on YouTube. Mm-hmm. We uh, post three vlogs a week, reels every single day. That's yep. um, but as far as numerically, no. But we had him on before um, for a back and buys, I believe. But then he was like, you know, let's hit legs. Let's hit legs. Let me see your leg workout. We ended up doing that and uh, kind of humbled him, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he was humbled. And this man is big. He, he yeah, squats heavy. Yeah. yeah. Now, tell me about, let's just... For the sake of it, one other piece of equipment that you guys know that is just, it's not just solely found here, but one of the things that kind of makes this place unique. Xander, you want to take off? Yeah, no. One of the place, one of the things that makes this place so unique is, first off, the lighting. You see the lighting. This looks crazy at night. You know, there's just like, it's a different type of vibe in here. Mm-hmm. And then they got music playing, like, not the typical gym music. You know, you can, like, play whatever you want here. Like, there's a computer up there. You can just put whatever in and then just vibe out that's one of my favorite things and and, uh as far as equipment one more piece of equipment i would say the individual leg press Mm, that one's pretty interesting Uh, yeah i was gonna ask you about that one that that one's pretty interesting you're doing because you know people like to do isolated movements all the time especially if you have a bum knee like like mine right Mm -hmm. like I have, I have a torn medial meniscus, right? So Lateral meniscus. Get, get, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yep. Well, can I get your <laughs> – <laughs> we're, 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 like, trading off there. Um, so, yeah, especially for the isolation. Bro, in a three-legged race, we kill that shit. <laughs> we kill it. We kill it. So, so for what, isolate, what competition? For real, bro. Uh, isolation. But, yeah, as far as isolation, that that works, dude, for Definitely. sure. And even the, like even with my bad knee, it humbles me sometimes. You know, yeah. like, having having unequal strengths in legs, it's, it's hard. 100%, man, 100%. And just to kind of touch on what Xander was talking about, some of the interesting things about the facility, I'm talking about products, talking about equipment, but one of the other things I love about the facility that Xander was talking about was just uh, the security about this place. We're going to mm-hmm. go into details about the security, but the security here is state-of-the-art. Uh, if you are here working out by yourself and it's a 24-hour security, they got uh, key passes to make sure that you're safe and it's just you walking in, and there's these little buttons throughout the entire gym where they're like little panic buttons you touch them they go directly to i believe she's a marietta police department or yeah. emergency services yeah she, mm-hmm. she even set up a patrol unit will show Ooh, up so, so it's, it's almost automatic yeah so they're definitely taking this very seriously when it comes yeah. down to your guys' safety and you know we'll definitely be talking about that a little bit more another category guys that we're excited to talk about and this was this was something that came from Zan, and it almost kind of hit us. We're like, man, that's so stupid. It's genius. It's so genius. It's stupid. <laughs> and it's not that you are, but yeah, it's just, yeah. it just was crazy, man. And that was the top fives, mm-hmm. right? Top fives. Yeah. Break down what you wanted to do with the top fives real quick, bro. So top fives, man. I mean, we were just sitting there brainstorming, right? And I was just like, I feel like a fun little topic or a little segment would be us reacting to some, like, funny gym fails or something. Because, you know, you see a new one every day. Mm-hmm. Someone like doing some crazy thing at Planet Fitness <laughs> or tearing their like bicep or something. I know we all seen those videos. Yes. So I think it'd be funny if we each brought in one or like maybe two. So there's three of us, you know, and then just reacted to it for a little segment, you know. I think maybe we should stop being so hard on Planet, Planet Fitness members. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Right. No offense. No, no offense, Planet Fitness. Hey, that's okay. I mean, Shout, <laughs> shouts to those that have it. I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, why do they, all the videos come from Planet Fitness? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stereotype. I'm not going to lie. I'll tell you why, man. It's the same reason why what you see at Walmart type videos okay. are just yes. so addicting. It's mm. just, you never know what you're going to roll into, man. Yeah. This place is kind of, if we can just talk about that for a sec. I have a gym membership. <laughs> that's cool alright whatever I get in where I can fit in <laughs> yeah yeah that's all that matters hey, that's it day. as long as you're getting your pump in but here's the thing man you definitely see some people uh, I saw a lady uh, knitting at, really? at Planet Fitness she was uh, doing the cab thing taking up the whole thing and she was no way homegirl was in with the, she was almost sparking <laughs> those needles that's... So she was she was on her thing, man. So I kind of half respected it almost. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I was yeah. Just like, D- you are really good at what you're doing, miss, <laughs> and you're definitely getting a bulk in at the same time. Yeah. There you I'm go. not mad at that. No, no, for sure. But it's still you're knitting at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something you see every day for sure. Wouldn't that be dope if she's like knitting some straps? 
Yeah. And then just fucking like, <laughs> like deadlift. Hops on like, the deadlift or something? <laughs> right? Oh my god. Then that would really be something. And maybe we'll feature something like that on our next video. But you got to get your pump in where you can. I definitely see a lot of things at Planet Fitness. I've also, I, I guess you could say I saved someone's life one time. When oh. I broke up a fight between the guy with the cauliflower ear. Oh, yeah, my talk God. Yeah, about that, actually. I, okay. I still haven't heard it. So what we're going to go, we'll just go ahead and break down this category here now with one of the top fives because this is a reaction from Planet Fitness for sure. Yeah. There was an altercation between two gentlemen. It's, uh, it's a group of kids sitting off to the left, occupying one of the benches, occupying quite a lot of the dumbbells, being a little bit loud, a little bit rambunctious, doing more flexing than lifting. And the <laughs> gentleman walked up and said, hey, you're going to get more gains lifting than flexing. True words. Yes. Yes. Yeah. True words. Yeah. Uh, he definitely inserted himself into that conversation. Yeah. The youngest one didn't like it and definitely had some choice words for him. <laughs> oh. And it was some FU bombs and some <laughs> FU backs. And, uh, yeah, man, it was getting heated. So the bigger guy with cauliflower ear oh, cauliflower. Decided, to, decided to let the other guy know who was a little bit more succulent, if you will. <laughs> he goes, Good choice of words. He goes, listen, you chubby, chubby guy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna get. We're, we're gonna. We're about to do this. The chubby kid goes, "Hey, uh, I'm about to slap the shit out of you." <laughs> <laughs> and that's when uh, the cauliflower ear guy put down all of his, his, uh, his water bottle and walked straight to that guy. Oh. I didn't know what was gonna happen though. I just, I kind of was just walking down there. I didn't want anything to go down. I'm literally in the middle of them, so I walk right in between them, right when they're about to square off, and I just say in a low enough voice where they can hear, I said, "Yo, I'm on probation, and if this pops off." I could get fucked up. So if y'all wouldn't mind for me, could y'all just chill or maybe just do this at a different time? Because I'm not trying to get caught up. They both looked at me, looked at each other, dapped me up, dapped <laughs> each other up, and walked away. What? <laughs> what? Bro, I'm telling you. If I would have filmed it, that, that would have been an, an amazing thing. Dude, that is... It was literally about to go down. And I, I didn't know what I was going to say. That was just one of those Jesus moments where he was just like, mm, say that. Yeah. <laughs> He's not on probation. Yeah, I'm no. not on probation. He's yeah. not on probation. That's Let's get that straight. I, clean cut. Come on, bro. Yeah, probation? Yeah. I ain't on probation. Yeah, I ain't got no, no priors. Come on. Come <laughs> Pay my taxes and everything. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy that that's like that's what came to mind. That's what you came know, to mind. It's not bro. like Oh, yo, yo, chill, chill. You said, yo, I'm on probation, man. Like, can we just? Like... I told you, dude, and, and I'm glad, I'm glad we recorded your reaction, your genuine reaction, because that was my reaction. Yeah. Like, no way, you said that. It was but if, if if people don't know what cauliflower is, yeah, yeah. cauliflower is cauliflower basically ear. broken cartilage in your ear from grappling, like jujitsu, wrestling, any Boxing. kind of hand to hand combat sport. So if someone has cauliflower ear, you know that. They probably know how to throw down for sure. It's pretty much just a sign that you're about to get your ass beat. Absolutely. Mind your P's and Q's around cauliflower ear people. Mm. Yeah. That's it. If they step on your shoes, you say, I'm sorry for putting my shoe underneath your foot. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, but you know what's funny, though, is like normally like fighters and anyone who's in like any grappling sport are the nicest people you'll ever meet. 100%. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? 100%. So it's like don't poke the bear and the bear's not going to get mad like – be respectful, and they're probably the most respectful people you'll ever walk into. Yeah. Definitely. Out, out in day-to-day, -day, you know, obviously, in a fight, they can't really, like, you know, there's still some sort of respect, but you're still beating the shit out of yeah, yeah. each right. other. Like, <laughs> it's like, you know. It is what it bit. is. Yeah. Yeah. But I think most of these people, I, I know, you know, from I used to do karate as a little kid, and then soccer kind of just took over my life, but you don't train to go out to kick ass. Mm -hmm. you're, you're training to defend. Exactly. For and sure. that's all it is. And part of lifting and part of exercising and part of that health awareness is making sure that you're not a victim out there. You don't want to be an older gentleman out there and you are let your weight go and you let your figure go and you have an opportunity. You have to have – you have to be able to defend your family. Yeah. You have to be able to defend yourself or your loved ones. You don't want to be looked at and viewed as a victim. Yes. And yeah. so that's another part of the reason why we're doing what we're doing. You know, we definitely want to make sure that we're fit enough to take care of ourselves, but we're also fit enough to take care of our friends and our family. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? Because that's our responsibility. That's Absolutely. our job. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? And, and, it's, and it's there to motivate and inspire others as well. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're, if you're in here doing the work and people, you know, kind of start seeing that a little bit, like, hey, like they'll notice one day, you, you look... You look different, and I know Phil has an exact, exact. This this has happened to you. Mm -hmm. People yeah. haven't seen you for a while, and they're like, something's different about like, what's what's different about you? Like, oh, I'm hitting the gym. They're like, they're like, that's it. Yeah. Like, yeah. like you look, you look more in shape. You you look 
you know, you're, you're walking taller, you're walking with your chest out, mm -hmm. you know, broader shoulders. Appreciate that. It's, Confidence. It's def, it's, That's, yes. it, and you feel it when you walk in the room. Mm -hmm. Nothing has to speak besides right. your presence. Right. Mm -hmm. You know and what I, I mean? Even Xander said that. He goes, bro, from the first time I actually met you, like, in the studio to, like, now, like, you just look different. Yeah. Right? No, you looked like... I mean, not to, no offense. No, no, but the let's first be time I saw you, you were like, you know, a little bit of a couch potato looking. Right? Yeah, but, dad bod. Yeah, dad bod a little bit. For and sure. Then, and then, you know, next time I see you, bro, you're like shoulders is popping, chest is popping out the shirt. I'm like, damn, Phil. Yeah. I see what you've been doing. You even hit one of these numbers. You yeah. Know, like, you, see, you see the actual deltoids, like, yeah. you see the split, like the, like the dip, and then separating the biceps with like, all right, like yeah. you know, Planet Fitness treating you right, <laughs> <laughs> or you're or you're treating Planet Fitness right. Hey exactly. man, I, I'm five days a week and I'm two hours a day. Congrats, yeah. bro. So exactly. and, it's, and that's just the new routine and that's just mm -hmm. the regimen. So yeah, I mean to continue talking about inspiring, you know, just to go off of what you were saying, I just got this new job, right? And you know, a lot of people don't really know what that I'd be lifting just because this. The stuff we be wearing, you know, it's like kind of hides a lot of the stuff. So, sure. but, Pump yeah, yep. <laughs> I noticed a lot of people there don't really work out too much. So I started like talking to people about them like, hey, bro, like you're in the gym or anything He's like, nah, not really. So just like even talking to them about it, like, yeah, yeah dude, I'm, I've been going like I've been doing my thing uh -huh. and then yep. talking to them about it. A few of them have already come up to me like, yeah, bro, I just started going to the gym. I'm, I'm getting no my membership shit. back. And you it's, haven't been there long. Yeah, no, it's only been like a month. Yeah, dude. It so, see, you're a light for that, bro. You're yeah. a light for that, and that's that's why I think it's it's so important and so imperative in our vlogs, right? Mm -hmm. When we have when we take that second, and and it, for any new viewers watching, we take a second and we drop an ism. Oh yes. And Phil has a, Phil has multiple isms. Got them isms. Right? You want to kind of explain what an ism is? Yes, bro. I'd love to. Thank you, Ethan. So an ism basically is a little bit of word of wisdom. You know, and, and a little ism can go a long way, right? It can just be a little quote. It could be something that you heard throughout the day that just resonates with you. I'm a firm believer in being a great communicator. That's one of the things I love uh, is, is the power of our words. And I really focus on communication, not only in my job, but just the things that I do on the side. And so anytime I get something that just kind of resonates with me or I hear something, I just got to write it down. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I put it in my, my notes. Yeah. And it's under isms. And I got a lot of isms, man. <laughs> and it's just words of encouragement or something that stuck out to me specifically that day. So we're definitely going to be going over an ism, a show. That's going to be another thing. We're probably yeah. going to be ending on an ism. Yep. Yeah. But that's what an ism is, a little words of wisdom. And that comes from my boy, uh, Mozzie. If you all listen to Mozzie, shouts out to Mozzie. Uh, it's talking about isms with an episode of uh, The Cave with Kenny Beats. So if you all know, then you all know. If not, check it out. Kenny yeah. Beats, Mozzie. But that's where the isms come from. It's all about just positivity, man. Things that resonate a little bit with you, man. So we're going to be going over maybe one, maybe two isms before we end this yeah. tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that kind of was a little bit of a tangent. Top five. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of <laughs> what we were talking about at first. But top fives, we're talking top five gym fails. Uh, that, like you said, injuries possibly. Anything that's got a, uh, that we can count down, that we can show each other to get them reactions and bring them to you mm -hmm. that are relevant. Top five things that we're going to be talking about exactly now lastly what we are discussing here since this is all new again ground floor we're trying not to give too much away we've got a lot in store for you there's a lot of growth mm -hmm. a lot of growth here yep. not just with this but also at the facility this beautiful facility new gym uh we're gonna be talking about that growth and everything but first we got to pull back just a little bit because we needed to let people know about the name yeah about the yeah. name of this podcast man now, we've gone through a few different names, a few different titles. Had some help from Chad GPT. <laughs> yeah. Shout, Shout out. out. Shout, Shout out, out Chad GPT. Shout out Chad GPT. And what's funny is we went through some of them. I don't think we ended up using any of the chat. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> they're, they're more like insp inspiration for what we should think about. Microisms, yeah. if Micro you will. Microisms, yeah. Microisms, if you will. <laughs> so we were kind of going through some of them. Uh, how about we talk about some of the no's first? Some oh, of the ones sure. that didn't really just stick. That Maybe they might be a help for you if you're looking at this and getting some inspo for your own show. Uh, chat GPT is free. Mm -hmm. But if you can't get access to a computer, your boys got gotcha. you. Yeah. Right yeah. here, and so what we're gonna do is go over a couple of the names that were, I don't want to say fails, but we just decided to pass on them. Yeah. Some of them were a little, a little bit out there. A little bit out there, right? So one of them, Banter Bros. 
Jackie mm-hmm. kind of has a nice ring to it. Yeah. Um, but then it's like not really gym related, so we were thinking like barbell banter bros. Yeah. Uh-huh. But that's trash. It doesn't, ro- it doesn't <laughs> roll off the tongue at all. It's really. just, yeah. It just doesn't work. It's too long. No, sure. it's, it's too long. It's trash. So we decided not, not to go with that one. Another one, uh, Muscle Minds. Mm-hmm. And I started getting the Mega Mind vibe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? For sure. Like... Which, yeah, it kind of goes down like monsters versus aliens, uh-huh. like yeah, path, yeah, and you start yeah, thinking yeah, cartoons. Yeah. Am I? Is that, no, is that you, what no, you're yeah. Thinking? That's exactly what I've kind of first thought. You just think of a blue, huge blue head pretty much when you think of <laughs> there muscle. There you go. I think, I think it, it, it puts too much emphasis on one thing as well. Yeah. Like, this is a podcast. We want to talk about a multi, like, multitude of things right, right. Mm-hmm. so i think i think we decided to pass because that was too too fixed okay. yeah yeah you know another one we were talking about was uh set talk set talk like yeah. how many sets you got right but mm-hmm. then we were also thinking like that could be a little too gangster <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we ain't rolling like that. yeah no this <laughs> this ain't that type of podcast Not that type of podcast yeah. i mean we definitely want to appeal to all types of cultures mm-hmm. absolutely Right, and that's and and that's that's on the real, but at the same time, we ain't trying to be set tripping. Yeah, no, we ain't no, trying to cause no problems. Nope. Yeah, we, we should, try, trying to be the bigger person always. Thank you, Xander, yeah, the bigger person, <laughs> right? And so we decided, nah, that's just not what we're about. Mm-hmm. That's not nope. the vibe. How about another one? Um, so beyond the barbell, actually, that one was kind of something we were thinking of. Yeah, mm-hmm. beyond kinda the barbell, di- diving in depth beyond the barbell, beyond yeah. the working out. Right, yeah. uh, new dudes. <laughs> new dudes. <laughs> that one was yeah, that one, one that. A, yeah. that, that was, was a good Xander's one. favorite. Yeah, that was Xander's I loved favorite. It. I loved but it. then he started taking off too much clothes, and then it started getting a little <laughs> bit. Took it a little bit too literal. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a little too literal on that one. Um, and then we started getting into some good ones, man. We mm-hmm. got on pump cover, and then we started going on the variations: pump covered, pump mm-hmm. uncovered. And that's actually a, kind of one that we're kind of looking at a little bit. A little mm-hmm. bit. A it's, little it's bit. like top three for sure. Yeah. Top for sure. three for sure. And, and even if it's not the name, definitely a topic. With, uh, just, just a topic, uh, a 100%. name of a topic. Yeah, 100%. yeah for sure. 100%. Uh, and then I think one of the other ones that we had, uh, Rep Radio. Yep. Mm-hmm. Rep yeah. Radio. Uh, that one was okay. You know, that yeah. could definitely... It might work in there, maybe not. Flexcast. Yeah, Flexcast. Yeah. Was another one. Uh, kind of rang out to me as like a subscription service, like <laughs> you know, like a like a iHeartRadio kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. So I, was like, I can see that. Nah. One that we're really heavily considering though mm-hmm. is Renewed. Yeah. Renewed. Right? We're here at the facility's Nude Gym, okay. And if you're writing an email to someone and you're trying to tell them what it's regarding, mm-hmm. it'd be R E colon colon Shouts out to language arts experts. <laughs> Nude, N-E-W-D, renewed. We're talking about everything regarding this gym, not only this facility, but what happens in this facility, the growth that we're expecting in this facility. I mean, look yeah. at this place. Yeah. This place is absolutely beautiful. beautiful. We get a chance to do a podcast here. We do our workouts here. We're getting mm. our growth in here, sometimes at Planet Fitness. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. But this is a facility that we're planning on spending quite a lot of time in. And the people that own this facility are spending quite a lot of energy and efforts to improve not only what's happening here, but the growth that's going to be planned for the company overall. Yes. And so while we're talking about the idea of renewed, not just this podcast, but what this nude facility actually is going to be, um, we're going to be breaking down exactly the nude philosophy. And uh, the owner, Cece, did a phenomenal job on that. We're going to have her and her husband, Art, on the show uh, coming up real soon. And so she can go ahead and break that down a little bit better than I think I could or we could because her words were just eloquent and perfect. Absolutely. Um, But the facility here that we actually are utilizing uh, is just always forward thinking. One of the things that struck me was – what do we call them? The tripods? The camera tripods? Yeah, yeah. They're everywhere in this place. There's camera tripods everywhere. So if you got yourself your cell phone and you want to record your gains, you want to try and see what your you know, your weaknesses are, your strengths, all that stuff, where you're actually your muscle growth is where it's taking place, all that stuff, you have access to those tripods that are located throughout the entire gym. But it's just a welcoming sign when you have facilities out there that want to charge you an arm and a leg just to come in and to record. You got a place that's already thinking of you, so you can just come in, do your workout, and you want to record it, we got you. We got you here. If you just want to bring your cell phone and just get them gains in and record it, we got you. And unfortunately, not every place is like that. Yeah. Can y'all break down just real quick 
the j- just a synapse of what you guys went through before you found this Wait. facility. Let me break yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah, Ethan, go ahead. Go for it. Go for All it. Right. So, like you said, other gems be charging an arm and a leg, and and I don't want to discuss the price, but it was it was quite literally an arm and a leg, dude. Like, no, and, no. And we still had to pay a price because we were already there. We had already taken pre workout, right? So we're getting like the itchy faces and stuff <laughs> like that. Like we're just like, all right, well we have to because I have to, I have to go. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, it's like, just took yeah. like a gallon of yeah. yeah, it's yeah like, so, bro, I'm but, itching right now. Come on. <laughs> but it only took that one bad experience, right? Of the of the gym. You know, and the front desk person was not nice at all. A little about sassy. It. V- very sassy. So it only took that one time, and we were leaving, and I'm like, you know what? Let's go to Nude. We already went there. You know, we checked it out. We're but already maybe naked. We, maybe we made the mistake. <laughs> like, like, maybe we made it. Wait, what did you say? I said, we're already naked. We're already nude. <laughs> okay. um, so we came here, and our, our first ever conversation with Art, and it was the day that he was here, which is already lucky enough. There wasn't, like, a worker here to represent the gym. It was him. Right. And... We already liked the equipment, right, and everything. We already knew we liked the facility, but that was that was the key point. I, and I stopped him, and I was like, hey, you know, we are already so interested in your gym without even, you know, coming here really, but are you okay with us filming? And he said, dude, absolutely. We, like, look around the room. We even got tripods for you to flex in. Like, we are just as invested in your progress as you are. We want you to tag us in all your posts. We want, us to, want you to tag us in all your videos. We want to be a part of your progression. Yes. So because it, when you look good, we look good too. Right. Right? You know what I mean? So just the, just being incorporated, it's more of a family and a tight unit. You know, all the trainers every single day, everyone knows each other. Hey, what are you hitting today? Yeah. It's, it's just a fantastic place to be, dude. Mm-hmm. It, it, it really is. And uh, just a little fun fact, you know, me and Ethan had actually came here a few months prior to this. And this was, like, when the gym was still building up. Yes. And we were, like, you know, pretty broke. So we were, like, eh, you know, this is, like. Broke college kids, man. Broke college kids. So we were, like, eh, I don't know. You know, we'll, like, think about it. And then we come here a few months later, and this gym, like, upgraded exponentially. Everything that Art said he was going to do with this place, we have seen it. Yeah. We've seen it over time. And he's a man with a vision. And he's going to make that true. Absolutely. And the plans that he has ahead. I, I just know from th- from how far this facility has come, mm-hmm. the aesthetic equipment, everything. I know this man's gonna follow through with the amazing, incredible stuff mm-hmm. that he's saying to us will happen. For sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the little that's the little story. That's crazy. And and Ethan didn't want. He was being kind of nice. He didn't want to go over the prices and all that stuff. Now yeah. we've discussed this before, and I can just tell you, if you are a young athlete like these two guys are, who are trying to make it on your own you're funding this stuff yourself then it's going to be a little bit expensive yeah right and this guy was or this facility this person mm-hmm. uh, was talking hundreds of dollars for yeah. the day yeah for an hour for uh, yeah for, for an hour and he actually said if we stay longer than that hour we have to pay that charge again for another yeah. hour despite if we stay for just 30 minutes we pay for the whole hour so, so if, whether we use it or not right. we pay that price yeah. so if you're on your grind and you're technically doing school Work and clinics. Shout yeah. out to Ethan. Yeah. If, you're, if you're doing three things and you are paying your own way, you're talking about at least probably two full days of work <coughs> at your work just to pay for one hour of your recording. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. If you think about it that way and th- start thinking about what your time is worth and the value that this place actually brings because you don't need to work two or three different days to pay for one day pass, yeah. the value here is unparamount. It's mm-hmm. it's pretty amazing yeah. what you're actually getting uh, and, and what you actually can get at this yes. facility. Seeing that this is a showroom facility, I don't know if, if you all know that or not, but this is where other gyms go to get their equipment and to see uh, what a showroom facility actually looks yes. like. Yeah, this is the sure. place here. And again, Marietta, California, can't stop saying it, man. Yeah. Like, this is where we're at. If you <laughs> ain't out. here, man, I don't know where you at, but you could be in San Antonio with me. <laughs> 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 so anyways, man, um, we definitely got a chance, you two, to talk about your past, uh, what you guys went through, where you guys are at now, working out here at the gym that you're at now. And is there anything else that you want to discuss real quick before we go into our ism about this particular facility? The one thing either we talked about kind of security. And again, we're going to be breaking down not just this facility more in depth on our next 
episode as far as where things are located what they actually have in detail uh, the growth of this channel uh, we're going to be discussing all that but just before we go down that rabbit trail just to kind of add a little bit more value um, anything else besides the security and the new equipment uh, and, and working with art is there anything else in here that is just eye catching to you or just memorable that we can talk about real quick before yeah we go to the next real segment? quick like the first thing that comes to mind like Ethan touched on it a little bit but everybody here knows each other and you know everybody's a it's like a family bro like you come in here you dapple up the trainers like yep. you know they're all your homies and everything and they're always here to help you out you know like even if you're not you know they're not your trainer yep. you ask them for like assistance and you're like new to uh to everything man they will it will be there to assist you and, so. and can i say this real quick just to touch on the, the always there thing which is interesting we ended up having so i've only been to this particular facility and done two videos with you guys i've yep. been here for four times right out of the four times that i've been here the owners have been here three out of that four times yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so talk about actually like working and, and, and investing in your own facility like the, the, this duo is here yes. around the clock still mm -hmm. here actually yeah. Super involved. Super involved. So, again, you're getting a place where they're not only just looking at this from a business perspective. They're also investing their own time and energy and their health and wellness here as well. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful. thing. It's a beautiful facility. Yeah. Well, guys, before we head out, one of the most important things that we need to be leaving y'all with, just for a little something to talk about. Mm-hmm. Is the isms. The isms, the isms man. Is the isms, man. And the man of isms right here, bro. <sighs> Thank you. Or were you pointing to Ethan? No, no, no. no. <laughs> he's here, he's here. I believe you, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's pointing upstairs. That would be the real one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Any, any ones that kind of stick out to you guys first, and some personal isms, maybe like one that you just know, like off the top of yours, that you want to go through. You can talk about one if you got one. If you don't, you can say pass, and I got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, on the spot. On the spot, it may be a little think, hard. Yeah. What you got? You got anything, Ethan? Something that may have stuck out to you? Um, you know what? You go first. I'm actually, gonna, I'm gonna kind of brainstorm. I have a couple, but I need to I need to think. I think Ethan. Or I do have one. Actually, go for it, brother. This one just came to mind, but I do really, really like this one. It's it goes. How's it go? Don't climb. Damn it! No, I lost it. How <laughs> about I, go first? I, I have the picture. We'll go with one right now, real quick one. Okay, and this one is from the great thinker the great uh philosopher mike tyson mm. okay. and don't get it twisted man mike has some good isms bro and this is just one of the ones that i recorded from mike that just stuck out to me and he said not everyone you fight is an enemy and not everyone who helps you is a friend Dang. Dang. not everyone you fight is an enemy and not everyone who helps you out is a friend and that is so true. Not necessarily relevant right now for gains. In yeah. Particular, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we're just going to talk about some good ism, something to just some chicken soup for the soul kind yeah, of stuff yeah. to yes. leave you off with a little something there, yes. that could be something. Check the people that you're around. Uh -huh. Some of them may be here for ill intent. Mm -hmm. I made sure that when I talked to Ethan about this whole endeavor, that I told him, "Hey, man, I'm not trying to ride y'all coattails or nothing. You guys have a great thing going on, and I'm not trying to. Do, I want to add to it. I want to help be a yes. part of it." There may be some people out there that just look at you and look at Xander and go, man, he's young. He's got his stuff together. He's working. He's got the gym. I'm going to just try and attach myself and just kind of go along for the ride. Yeah. yeah. Right? And those people, they're going to go. Yeah, man. They're going to fall off. I think, I think life just naturally filters who you should be around. Mm -hmm. You know, oh. and uh, a friend sharpens a friend. You know iron what I sharpening mean? iron. Uh, iron. And, and once you kind of feel people becoming a liability instead of an asset, I think that I think that's a – an outside source letting you know, hey, you know, maybe maybe you need to redirect your path. That's and that right. leads me into my, my actual ism. Let me it, hear your ism, bro. What you got? So it's by Winston Churchill. Ooh. All right. Yep, yep. It says, the pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. Mm -hmm. The optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. Mm. So what okay. I think about okay. that is every di it, it can be correlated in everything in life, right? But instead of having the I have to, you should have the I get to. Right, I get to I go get to the to. gym. Yes. I get to work out. You know, I get to put my mind, body, and spirit in suffering. So tomorrow, I'm the man I want to be. I love it. You know what yeah. I mean? You have to practice like a champion today, so you can be a champion tomorrow. I love it, mm -hmm. Zan. You got, you got. 
I couldn't find it, but next time, <laughs> next time I got it. I'll tell you what, we'll give one more because we're going to do three, one for each mm-hmm. of us. Zan, uh, how about, uh, we'll do one from, how about Sam Sulek? You good with that? Yeah, yeah. It's weightlifting pertaining, bulk pertaining. L- let's go ahead and get into it. One of the things I heard him say in his videos that was just, boom, it just stuck out to me. He said, the guy who likes walking gets further than the one who likes the destination. Mm. Yes. I, I remember seeing that clip. So, yeah, yeah man, y- y- you got to you gotta get comfortable with the process. It's the journey. You got to yep. get comfortable with the process, and you got to trust the process. I know everyone has heard that. There's That's another is- ism in and of itself. Yes. Yeah. Trust the process, right? But you got to be able to learn to love that workout pain, mm-hmm. right? You got to learn to love you know the thought process of adding more weights yes you know going further going past exhaustion going Mm -hmm. past failure you got to learn to know that going past failure is now the new goal yeah Yeah, and before 110 percent, that always never really registered with me i was like man you can only have 100 (laughs) percent. but it wasn't until i started working out with you guys where it's like okay now we're gonna go past failure Mm-hmm. And then just that thought process was just like foreign to me. Who, yeah. Who, who was it? Sure. Was it Mike Menser who talked about that failure quote? Like, till failure or I'm a failure. I think that was, uh, Ooh. you know, like, was that Mike Menser? I think that was Tom Platts. That it was Tom Platts. Yeah, yeah. Right, you're right. You till failure or I'm a failure. Yeah. That's facts. You, you got to think like that sometimes. <laughs> I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Now, with that being said, guys, I think, unless there's another ism y'all wanted to go over. <clears throat> I'm good, man. I think that was it, man. So we're definitely going to be covering – let's just do a quick little recap for us, everybody. Mm -hmm. What we're going to be covering here, obviously, health and wellness. We're going over the hot topics. We're going over the lifted bros and bra jets, special guests, and our special products, and then our top five reactions. That is something that you can expect within this channel here. You can also expect to see these guys. We're going to be putting links in the descriptions. You can check it out here anywhere. We're going to be definitely getting those links in the descriptions for you guys for sure where you can check out – their personal YouTube page, uh, other links for other social medias will definitely be in there as well. Uh, but definitely talk about them top five reactions. You heard what we're going to be doing. And as far as the name is concerned, are we going to be landing on that tonight? Are we going to be getting the owners involved in this so that we can kind of get their input on that as well? I mean, I, I think I, I'm pretty set on a name in particular that we talked about. Mm-hmm. For me, top one is renewed. I like it. I like it, too. I like it. I think we may be landing on that one. If it is, that's probably going to be in the thumbnail. So Mm -hmm. you're going to have to wait and see on that one, find out what the thumbnail actually says. You guys will know by the time this comes up. Oh, yeah, by the time this comes out. And expect many more. You know, again, we're planning on growing here, not just with this facility, uh, this channel as well. There's a lot more coming up for you guys. We're so thankful that you came down here to check this out with us. Mm -hmm. And, Ethan, you want to go ahead and uh, send us out here? Uh, yeah, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate every single one of you for tuning in. Um, stay fit, stay blessed, and dsups.com, 20% off. Save yourself some money. Save yourself some money. Link in the description. Go ahead and get that. That's right. All right, guys, until next time. See Peace. ya. Later.